Do you celebrate Valentine's Day each year? Well, you might want to circle that day in 2046 because NASA's Planetary Defense Office is tracking a new asteroid that has a very small chance of hitting Earth in 23 years. Joining me now is David Farnocia. He's a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, David, thank you so much for joining us. And I'd love to start by just asking you about this newly discovered asteroid. 20, it, the name of this asteroid is uh, 2023 DW. Uh, based on your experience and expertise, how much of a danger does this pose to planet Earth? No, this object is not particularly concerning. Uh, it was discovered on February 26, and um, at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, in particular at the Center for Near Earth Object Studies, uh, we keep track of those. And whenever there is a new discovery, we map the trajectory for the next hundred years and check whether there is even a remote possibility for an impact. In most cases, we find that the impact is not possible. We can rule that out very quickly. In this case, we cannot do that yet. Uh, we need more data to get to that point. Uh, but we have a small, very small, 0.2% impact probability for 2046. I always okay. like to put things in another way. There is a 99.8% probability that the object is not going to reach the Earth. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, but, you know, anytime an asteroid is at least on, on some target with some potential of, of hitting Earth, it, you know, it makes Earthlings take note. Um, this asteroid is about 50 meters across, about the size of an Olympic swimming pool. Um, why was it only discovered in February? Because I know this is a concern that NASA has about asteroids being perhaps detected uh, later than they would like. Yeah, so this object is only 50 meters. It means that it really needs to come close enough to Earth for us to pick it up. And uh, we had to wait until until last February to have the first good chance of, of discovering it. But uh, NASA is really tasked with discovering more than 90% of the objects, 140 meters or greater, because those are the ones that could cause significant damage. Mm -hmm. This one is fairly small. And, uh, and it's a side benefit of our search for asteroids. And the fact that we could discover an object this small with a small impact probability in 2046, it's like 20, more than 20 years of lead time. That's a pretty good sign of what That's NASA can good. do in discovering objects. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I, I understand. I just want to reiterate, very, very, very slim chance that this does uh, hit Earth. But let's just say by some chance it did. Uh, what kind of damage would an asteroid of this size do, 50 meters across? Well, I think a good analog is the uh, Tunguska impactor that happened in 1908. Uh, that was an impact over, over Russia, and that flattened uh, trees over 2,000 square kilometers. So that's the kind of analog. But again, as you said, the probability is really small. Uh, as soon as we get new data, we're going to be able to refine the orbital calculations and, and update the hazard assessment. And chances are we're going to be able to rule out this possibility. David, really quick, one more question for you. Uh, NASA's big uh, spacecraft, the DART spacecraft that hit that asteroid and successfully hit it off course, off its orbit earlier, uh, or I guess in November of last year, uh, the first planetary defense test mission. Uh, could that type of technology be used uh, to push an asteroid like this? Absolutely. That's the very reason why we, we flew that mission. We wanted to see and prove that we had the capability of moving an asteroid, of course, in case we needed to do that. And that mission was a spectacular success. It was such a beautiful bullseye.